Uh, welcome back to my shop and I'm gonna be putting the credit and collections unit back into the selection receiver here and I think we might even give it a test here in my shop since it actually has a plug. You can plug it in. Hey, where's the third prong on that plug? It's gone. More than that, there's only two wires making it to the selection receiver, the ground is just cut away here. Hmm. Gotta wonder about that. Okay. I'm not to wonder about it right now. Let's put the selection. I'm put the credit and cancel unit back in. Oh, I've got to fix these wires here. That almost missed that. The unsoldered wires. They get a little bit of shrink sleeve here to, to go on them. problem. Seems kind of funny looping out over like this, doesn't it? Okay, well, I don't think it is a problem though. This sits in here like this. <clears throat> update memo on my computer there from Windows right in the middle of using this piece of software it's, it's a little unusual okay we'll do the update later so oh, wait a sec here there we go so I just have to tighten up the four screws that are holding it and plug it in here. 
There we go. Now some of these screws were pretty loose. It's probably because this thing shakes a wee bit when it operates. Probably shook itself loose after years and years. Okay. Just put the plug back in. Now, do we dare plug this thing in in my shop here? I gotta turn it around. those in favor of trying it here. Tap your computer screens right now. Oh, there we go. Okay. The word is, give it a go. Give it a go. Okay, so what's the story here? Almost nothing is plugged into this. In fact, nothing is plugged into it. The rest of the jukebox. That's one, two, three, four, five, six different things get plugged into here. Uh, and these ones go in these big, two big plugs. These are big cables. With lots of wires in them. So lots of stuff is not hooked up. And here goes the uh, coin box switches. So my thinking here is the fault is not in this unit anyway. I plug this in and turn it on, probably nothing at all will happen at all. Um, maybe this tube will warm up. Now these transformers will come on. But nothing else should happen. Nothing should move, click, or anything, I think. Um, then, if I push this little test button, I think this unit should operate as if a coin has been dropped in. So at that point, the big, this big uh, solenoid should operate. It should be quite a strong ka-chunk. should take place here. Um, the wire I've installed is right here. It's above the rest. I'm going to get it like that, so it's kind of out in the open. Well, it does start burning, it doesn't do damage. I'm staring right at it too. I'll put this in with one light bulb. One, one, one 40 watt light bulb in series with this isn't a huge restriction because this is not drawing a lot of power as it's sitting here anyway. So it's pretty much going to get full supply voltage. If there is a short, um, a couple things can happen. Uh, one is the light will come on over here. My uh, my uh, uh, dim bulb light will come on and this wire might get hot just reviewing this in my head so I'm ready Let's make sure these are not touching each other because they're not screwed to their posts they can get into trouble should I pull this tube out? I don't think so Okay, I think I've built up enough nerve to plug this in. How about you? Oh, oh, I hear the knocking. Ignore that hand. I hear the knocking. Okay, everybody's in favor of me plugging it in. Let's make sure we're on one bulb restriction up here. So the light we're talking about is this one right behind my microphone here. As usual, I'm just hesitating a little bit, given, given time for something in my brain to clarify and stop me from doing what I'm about to do. Okay, so another thing we can do is very momentary power. I can apply power and take it off, and then I can measure the temperature of this wire. See if it's elevating long before it gets to the uh, smoking stage. Everything is 23 degrees in here. 22, 23. That's a good idea too. Momentary onage. 
Okay, power switch is off. Let's plug it in. A hard choice of which way to plug it in here. Okay, last chance. What could possibly go wrong because I don't have all this other stuff plugged in? Somehow I don't think anything can go wrong. Okay, let's hope the designers thought about me and my shop here in 2015 doing this. Yeah, I think we're good. Eyes on the light bulb. Oh my gosh, that was pretty darn bright. That was stupidly bright. Stupidly bright. Very stupidly bright. That was 23 degrees still. Why the heck did that light come on so bright? This is not what I wanted to see. There's no large capacitors in here uh, that take time to charge. That was not good. That was not good. Not good at all. Okay, so nothing seemed to happen. Uh, to do now. Oh boy. Um, that's a bit of a kicker here. Um, <laughs> what are my options? My options are take this to the diner, completely install it, try it there. Um, turn the switch on again. Let it go a little bit longer. Uh, we didn't see. Did I see anything heat up at all? I didn't have it on very long. That's for sure. Anything at all heat up? No, I don't think so. I'm not gonna heat these guys up that fast. Uh, what else could cause that light bulb to? glow that brightly. Um, we have two big transformers there. They have a certain amount of charging current themselves. I can't imagine that that would light anything up. Any relays broken here? Anything. Something. Somebody show me something. Something at all. Uh, Okay, one more time. Here we go. Let's try it again. This time I will grit my teeth and keep it on, keep the power on for just a bit longer. Maybe I'm going to back up a little bit. Here we go. Watching the light. Oh, that light is on full. red spot in front of me. I'm looking at that light. <laughs> well, okay, let's do this. I, I just got an idea. I got an idea. Let's do this. Let's unplug the credit and collections. Credit and cancel unit. There's now no electrical connection between the credit and cancel unit, this mechanism here, and the rest of the selection receiver. Okay, let's try it again. Here we go. 
Countdown. Three, one. I see a slight glow, very slight glow. Okay. Well, that's sending the clear message that there's a short circuit in the credit and collections unit, credit and cancel unit. Huh. And what would the next step be? Well, the next step might be take the plug here, measure the resistance of each pin maybe to the chassis. Look for the ones that present a short. And then I try to understand from the schematic what that particular uh, line is supposed to be doing. Okay, sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good, and I just found my solder, which had half fallen to the ground. You know, it's terrible when things fall and they don't make it to the ground. <laughs> yeah. I get caught somewhere. Okay. Bring on the ohm meter. This is not exactly where I thought it was going to be. But that never happens when you do this kind of work. Everything always works out just the way you want it. Okay, so starting with, I gotta get these numbers right now. Um, let's see, if I was looking up from up from the bottom, it's clockwise. Wow, this, this kind of stuff just turns my head around trying to trying to sort these things out. So if that were plugged in down from the top. This would be number one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta figure out the pin numbers here for sure. I can't, I can't, uh, let me check it out here. Okay, so no matter, no matter how much I flip this around in my head, I cannot sort out with a feeling of certainty which one's pin one. It's just, it's just something with me. Okay, but pin 5, I think this one's pin 5, is supposed to be a ground according to the schematic. Bingo. Okay, so that's pin 5. 1, 2, 3, 1. So this is pin 1. Okay, so that, that did work out. I did sort it out correctly. 1. I thought this was pin 1. So we'll, we'll check each one of these pins. Through the credit and cancel solenoid. The one I was worried hadn't operated. Oh no, that's not true. That's a. Uh, I was thinking this one. That's this one. Okay, let me study the schematic here a little bit and see what pin H reveals. Okay, so two seconds of study, and the first thing it reveals is I'm looking at the wrong plug for crying out loud. It's this one. This is this is the one I'm testing here. Okay, so and it just so happens that pin five has a short on it. Way, the way the other pin should be. It's just, oh, well, there you go. That's how, that's how mistakes happen. So let me study this more carefully. Okay, so this big solenoid, which draws this rod up, 
basically drives the whole mechanism, has a cam right here that pushes on these contacts. And that's this cam here pushing on all these contacts. So I'm going to take a look at these contacts and see if they are open properly, any of them are stuck. Here's another cam off to the side here that does one contact. We saw that earlier. So I'm going to study these guys here. Just see if something's not right with them. Right, let's bring in the Mr. Close-Up camera here. Let's see what we get. Okay, starting on the assumption that this is in the position, should be in the position shown here in the manual diagram. So first of all, the contacts that are, the first contacts from the cam right in here. to be open. On the diagram, ah, I can't be sure what position they've got this in. The diagram looks more like, more like that. Some of these uh, are set up so that certain contacts uh, close or open just before others. We're talking about fractions of a second here. This looks like that kind of thing. to be doing what it's supposed to do. I don't see anything stuck. I don't see anything bent. I don't see anything that's not moving that should. I can see the uh, uh, contacts uh, moving when they, uh, the whole thing moving when they come into contact, which means they're touching. I can see them separating when they're relaxed the way they are right now. barking up the wrong tree about this. Now we should have a, a ground, a solid ground on pin number one. I need to say it, I think I still got the... Uh, got this guy mixed up a bit. So that's pin number one. Just go around one is ground, two, two is nothing, three, it goes uh, as a minus 125 volts DC supply, right to that, uh, right to the timing relay. Which is a relay that had the burned wire on it. The next one in four is uh, uh oh, aha, uh -huh. 
Okay, that's interesting. Pin 4 is a 25 volt AC supply. I'm reading 35 ohms to ground there. Next one. Open. 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 Okay. That guy. 35 ohms. And that's pin number one, two, three, four. Pin number four. Okay, so I take a look at pin number four here. Pin number four, 25 volts AC, right to the burned wire. Okay, so just to review again, this connection point is actually made right up here. So if you look at this point, there's two wires coming off. The two I soldered back on, just one of them being the burned one. So the one wire comes out to here. The other wire comes from here, goes all the way around, down, and on way over to the other side, which is the wire I replaced. So it raises a really curious question. If you burn this wire, why wouldn't you burn this one too? Isn't this the one that's supplying the power? So I'm reading 35 ohms here. How do you get 35 ohms? How do you get 35 ohms on here? So I'm going to operate this relay and I'm just going to try to get more information. I'll operate that relay. This one here. Okay, so here we go. Pin number four. Oh, my meter went to sleep. <laughs> I think I'm going to clip it on. Number four, here comes a tone. There we go. Operate the relay. I heard something there. I heard something again. Hey, we're on to something. For the first time since I started working on this, I have a, a sense of, of where the fault might be. It's in here. It's everywhere. It's everything everywhere. Sorry about the tone, but we're going to have to listen to that. Oh my gosh. Clip lead come loose on the meter. What am I doing? 
testing the meter. <laughs> That's come back, short circuit. I need you now. Too close up the way it is. If I move enough stuff here, then that short circuit disappears, and we can't trigger it again. Maybe it's just happened. I think we need to take this back out, take a much closer look at the situation with it. Well, I found something. I found something. That's good. I feel better. <laughs>